Easy people, back again with the nice things to know. Um, I should do this, they say. So like and subscribe if you like this. Um, I think you'll really like this. I think loads of people will like this. I think this is one where um, people should share this. Um, like they say, leave the best to last. But anyway, I digress. Um, in the last 10 years or so, there's been something what's been coming slowly and slowly, and it's probably one of the best things in music technology, and it's a thing called stem extraction. And what that is, is being able to separate bits of a song, so a fully mixed song, and being able to separate that. There's different ways you can do that normally. Back in the old school days, what you could do is you could EQ out something and you do it. But now because of AI, artificial intelligence and machine learning, um, which is part of AI, you now ha are able to have programs what are able to define through frequency different instruments and sounds. So what you now have is uh, quite a few companies which are doing stem extraction. Now I'm going to say this, don't pay for it. There's no point. Why? Because you can get it for free, which is a brilliant thing about modern technology. And uh, the free one that you can get is a thing called Virtual DJ here. Very rare do I actually show anything apart from the force because I don't know what people have, but I would advise to get this. I'm going to keep a link, keep remind myself to put a link in this video because you want to go get it because it's free. And what does stream extraction do? It takes away at certain elements of a tune, which is ace. Now, Virtual DJ is something I use anyway. Me, personally, I think this is far superior to any other um, DJ like software out there, Serato, Tractor, whatever. I've used them all because I DJ on a regular basis. But because of the certain things this do, does, it's just ace. But I digress. We're not here to talk about the benefits of Virtual DJ. We're here to talk about stem extraction. Now, like I said, you can get this for free because the only difference between the free and the paid version is the paid version works with controllers, but the free has every single thing that the paid version has. And one of the key things, again, I repeat, is stem extraction. Just to repeat again, stem extraction means these elements here, what you can see up here, vocal, instrument, that's not short for instrumental, bass, kick, and hi-hat can be separated you can have a um, separation. Now, what you can do is you can right and click on here and you can go to like export somewhere. I can't remember where it is. Somewhere there. Oh, file operations there. And no, no, you have to go down to here. You go to CDJ export and you can export them as separate stems. Um, just for anybody who doesn't know what a stem is, it's like a, a separate track. So, like if you were going to separate tracks, if you were going to, um, put your track so you just only have the drums on one thing or the, the vocals on another that's what would be called as this called a stem just in case anybody didn't know that but the ace thing like anything is you can do this in real time and i like working in real time because it means you just the creative flow is consistent you don't have to wait you don't have to stop ideas come fluid and great ideas i believe come like that like i say the greatest thing about stem extraction is it frees you up to the whole of your library, musical library. So you could do remixes, you can jack little bits, chords. You might be able to work out some melody that you've never been at work out because it's in a tune. Now, what I'm going to do is um, I've got Aretha Franklin rock steady. It isn't flattened, so it's all over the place. So what I'm going to probably have to do is I'm going to have to kind of pitch it in, um, in and out to keep kind of keep it on line in real time and i'm going to record it into my force the other thing about virtual dj is it works with ableton link so all you have to do is go to the master here and go to master effects and turn on ableton link able link what that does let me go to let me go here where am i let me go back to akai force ableton link links up and it kind of it's like it's kind of like midi it syncs up other devices and um, the Akai Force 
can sync up through Ableton Link. So all you have to do is go into menu and then double tap this middle thing where it says sync. If I can. And you, you've got different sync choices, MIDI clock, uh, MIDI time code, and right at the bottom is Ableton Link. So switch that on. And what that means now, this is a really simple way of explaining how to use Ableton Link. The first thing you play controls all the rest of the stuff. So in this case, I want to make sure that I play the force first and then I play the virtual DJ. And if I move, so if I go to go back to the matrix, if I move the tempo, the tempo moves on virtual DJ. So I've moved the tempo and I'll, I'll go back again. If I go back to virtual DJ, if you look here where it's got the tempo, which is up there, I'm moving the tempo in virtual DJ, not virtual DJ, silly man, um, in the Akai Force, and that's moving the tempo in virtual DJ. So I've done a little quick tune here, and I'm going to start it. So this is playing now, and what I'm going to do is play Aretha Franklin's thing over my tune, and hopefully I won't get any copyright catches, and I'm going to get it captured in real time. So I'm playing it. So at the moment you won't hear it. I'm moving the pitch, and then I'm going to go. So this is in real time. So at the moment, I've been picking up that. I want to get rid of everything. That's what I want. So I'm going to record all this thing. So let me go back again. So that's what I've got now. And it's like, yeah, that's no good to me. But now I've got this with just the vocal there. So let me go back to my archive force. Well, no, I'll keep this on here so you can see that here. And then I'm going to press it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. And I'll go back to my. So I'm going to record this in. That's what I feel now. I've just stemmed that. And now, because that's in my force, I can use this any way I want. And now, because that's in there, in my Akai force, I can now do anything I want with that. I can chop that up or whatever. And just to quickly go back to the... Virtual DJ, the great thing about Virtual DJ is it's got pitch shift. So even if you've got a tune and in, in the right key, if you use, a, like I say, on loads of my videos, I show you how you can get the right key of a sample. So I'll go and find that. You can change the key to fit your song. So you can do remixes easily, easily do remixes of any song that you got there. Like with this one, it's a, it's old, it's a bit crusty, so I'd probably add reverb into here. But I didn't want to make this long, so um, so yeah. So that's about the size of that. I hope this has been helpful. Virtual DJ, and I'm going to try and remind myself to put it in there, um, link to Virtual DJ. And um, until maybe the next time... Um, have fun and oh yeah don't forget to like and subscribe please like and subscribe it helps um and until next time as always peace